Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you had a nice break. Did you get a cup of tea? Um, big, yeah, cake, sandwich, a nice, I had a nice sandwich, we had a little chat as well um, in the break. Um, so do let us know what you're getting up to this weekend because it is a bank holiday weekend, which means in the UK it's bad weather, really, let's be honest. Um, I think it was very nice, in, was it West Sussex, somebody said it was nice and sunny, but it's just a bit overcast, but luckily we're not being harassed by the seagull at the moment, um, but we might have that little bit... It's quite frightening, actually, the noise that they make. So if you do hear a kind of... <coughs> it's a seagull, generally speaking. Um, so do let us know what you're going to be getting up to today. Um, and hopefully you're having a lovely weekend planned. Maybe you're going on holiday, maybe you're doing bits and pieces, seeing family, having a barbecue. If the weather's... Well, we're British over here. You have a barbecue in the rain. Um, lots of people are messaging in to say hello. Um, I've got um, Kieran says aloha. Stephen says hello everyone from a warm sunny afternoon. Where, where are you? Where, that's where I want to know. Can I be there? Betsy says good morning from Houston. I will be cheering Gaz along from the craft along. I'm looking forward to seeing what Gareth does and the craft along. This is the second time I've had Gareth on the craft along. Very exciting for me. Um, Kieran says it's 3 a.m. here. Dark and quiet. Perfect time for a craft along. Oh, nighttime crafting. Do you have fairy lights on when you do your nighttime crafting? Do you make it like a, you know, like a disco kind of party? Um, Thea says, hoi hoi here. Lois says, good morning everyone from Ohio. Looking forward to seeing the craft along with Gareth. Terry says, hello everyone from Kansas City. Hello all from Davenport, Iowa. Iowa? Iowa. <laughs> That's from Joan. Mary Beth says, hi everyone from Minnesota. Kelly says, good morning from Ohio. Christy Mahoney says, hello to Debbie and Becky and Gaz and everyone on the team and Susie, hello. Um, Carolyn says, good morning from Phoenix, Arizona. Lynette says, beautiful and sunny here in Norfolk. And Stephen says he's in Andover in Hampshire. So well done for grabbing the, wet, the nice sunshine. Um, let, let it go so you can come up here for us. Um, so we have a fantastic craft lawn planned for you. So if you saw that earlier on um, today, um, it looked absolutely beautiful. Debbie, show us what you're going to be doing today. Well, it was all about the... Now, I'm, <laughs> I will just say, they're all sold out. You love them so much, they sold out. But as always, um, we promise you that we will do a craft along. I will just say right now, for anybody who hasn't got them, don't worry because they are coming back. We okay. have we have reordered, they will be coming back. We've just got to wait for them. But it's all about our decorative punches and our three-in-one corner tool as well. Lovely. Which everybody loved. And we've said this before, um, punches are um, something that have been... When I first started crafting, that was what was available. Die cutting machines weren't really a thing. Mm -hmm. it were, it were, it, you were die cutting punches. I've still got all of them. All of them for all the companies. Um, because I love them. And it, it's, what I love it is that we've kind of brought them back into the um, foreground of crafting because um, they do all sorts of mm. decorative edges and things like that round the edges of cars dark. So this is the craft along about these, but we're gonna make them into a little project because I thought at the end of the day, do you just wanna see me punching pieces of card or, or nice. different things? So I wanted to work on a project. So I've got a project that I'm gonna do uh, with you right now and our lovely guest, uh, where we're gonna make a little folio. Now, sh Becky's gonna give you shopping list in a minute. I don't want you to worry too much about all the finer details because this is going to be personal to you. Mm -hmm. This is personal to me. I haven't quite finished all the photos, but I am going to put some more in. Um, but it's personal to you. So the only thing I want you to remember is about getting the construction of it done and getting the mats and layers and then having a little punch or Lovely. two with our fabulous decorative punches. And in terms of those decorative punches that come down into the corner, um, our punches aren't just corner punches. So it doesn't, it's into corner punch and then a yeah. straight edge one, which is what it used to be. It's actually a, t it's a hole in one tool. Oh, okay. So I'm going to show you how to use the round the corner and then this kind of effect. Um, which I absolutely love. Now, we have got some other dies. I've just popped some decorative dies on there. We've got these available, but um, absolutely gorgeous, um, gorgeous dies, gorgeous punches. But we're going to make this lovely little folio. So well, I've pretty. used an alphabet on mine, so I've got the word friends going down at the side. This depends on your personal choice. So, again, don't worry about the finer detail. It's the construction, it's the layers, the mats, the punching that we're going to do. Not yep. physical punching, punching with our papers. <laughs> um, and then drop that down. We've got all these little areas. Now, I am going to show you how you're going to create a little folio. I've got my little Aww. Sarah in there with myself already in there. Um, and I'm going to create these front pages. But if I take them up, because you can see that I've been doing my bottom pages. Let's go up and up. Oh, look who that is. Oh, look who 
those two are. I mean, I love that picture of me and him. <laughs> Bend the part-timer, she's saying. Uh, but yeah, we're going to make this folio. But it is personal to you, so do not worry if you haven't got the photos, mm -hmm. if you haven't got the alphabet, this is something you'll do afterwards. Once you've decided who this is for, you are not going to get all of that finer detail done in two hours. What right. we're going to concentrate on is the construction, the putting together, the mats and the layers and the sizes for this particular project, and then the punching. Yeah. Oh, what we're going to concentrate on and we've got a fabulous guest joining as well. We so Becky's going to give you a shopping list. Yep. Again, if you haven't got the papers, use what you have yep. do not stress if you haven't got them although we do have things available not all things but we have some things available for you we do definitely take advantage of having a look at our april shower section on the, the website where we've got some fantastic deals for you and um, we've also got freebie frenzy said it right this time excellent i uh, probably will say it wrong later on um, again we've got some great deals buy one get one free deals so do make sure that if you are sort of looking at the bits and pieces on the website you do have a look in those sections as well so let's get as started with your shopping list about the items you're going to need the first thing you're going to need are your outline dies so we've used blooming botanicals and pretty posy the eclipse alphabet die set blue pastel plaid um, 12 by 12 paper pad, paper pad, blah, 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 paper pad. The Pastels Luxury Mixed 12 by 12 cardstock pad, a pokey tool, um, Kalal Tacky Glue, hook and loop fastening dots, and some gems. Then we also are using the corner punches. So we're using the decorative hearts, the scallop, the decorative scallops, the fleur de lis, the photo corners, the decorative corners, the deco fan, and the three in one rounded corner punch. And then additional elements are your school master scoreboard, multi-purpose A3 card, red liner tape, and your all-purpose glue, and your obviously your Gemini machine you're going to be needing for this as well. Um, lots of people are messaging in to say hello, so a few more hellos for you before we get started. Um, Creative Spirit says good luck, Gaz, from your big sister. Uh, we've got Patricia saying good morning from Sunnystone, uh, Montana. Barbara says hello everyone from rainy New Jersey. Yeah, we don't want to hear that it's sunny. Um, hi uh, from Wilna from South Africa. Marcy says hello crafters from Delaware. Anne Hopkins says good afternoon. Becky, Debbie and all from a sunny North Norfolk. And Karen says morning all from a sunny Croydon just back from a walk. Looks like I should have been down in London this weekend for the, the good weather. And we also want to say a lovely hello to Gareth. Gareth, how are you doing? Hello! <laughs> Yay! It's lovely to see Good you to again. See you again. <laughs> and you're in the Isle of Wight, aren't terrible. you? I I am. Yep. I am. I'm on the Isle of Wight. It's nice and sunny. I've had to close my curtains and put the light on because it's too bright. That's not something I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're more than welcome to pop down for a drink. I'm more than happy to host. <laughs> I'll definitely take you up on that. Definitely. Um, are you I looking forward to this craft um, along? Uh, Sorry? Are you looking forward to this craft along? Oh, I am. I am. I'm absolutely so looking forward to it. Good. I've, I've been going on all week. Um, last week when I did the test call, I was actually working nights. I got up especially to do the <laughs> test call. Fantastic. <laughs> so I have been looking forward to this for have so you got long. Your, it your is pictures absolutely printed good. off ready in preparation? Oh, I've got everything ready. Everything Excellent. is in front of me. I know you can't see it all, but it is all in front of me, ready to go. And you've got some glue now, because you didn't have any glue earlier, did you? I did. I had to go and run down to the local shop and go pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Fantastic. Right, Debbie's going to show you what we're going to do to get started. Wonderful. Yep. And hello to everyone as well, by the way, and all of my, uh, my girls that um, I've been hanging out with on the chat from America. Or th they call myself, uh, they call themselves my American sisters. So <laughs> a big shout out to all of them. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Debbie, I'm just going to pass over to you because yes. I'm just going to quickly pop out of the studio. Give me a moment. Yeah. Hello. I've been dying to meet you. Hi. Oh, hello, really? Debbie. It's so lovely to meet you. <laughs> it's so now lovely I've done to craft along to both Debbies. Oh, oh, oh bless you. Uh, are, are you looking forward to this one then? Because I've heard some really oh. nice things about you, young man. <laughs> I'm terrified. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not terrified. I am really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be absolutely fabulous. And I'm guessing you've been talking to one of my American sisters, Christine. 
<laughs> yes, she's been busy tapping away uh, and letting me know. And uh, yes, yeah, she has. And she tells me just how lovely you are and funny you are. So I'm really looking forward oh, uh, to your take on this craft along as well. Um, and like I said, if you haven't got all of those elements, don't worry, you can have whatever you want in terms of your colour schemes. Um, ones that I've just used are, because I, I don't know about you, Gareth, but I absolutely love um, this plaid pad. So I'm going to be using that one, but you can use anything well, you want. What I'm just going to ask you is, is it Gareth or Gaz? Well, you can call me Gareth or Gaz, and this was my selection. Ah, oh, loving that so selection. So this is what I've gone with. <laughs> love, love that. I absolutely love that selection. So, yeah. So, so are you ready and um, waiting? Are you ready to go? Oh, I am. I'm ready and raring to go. I've been Yay! preparing for this for the last two days. <laughs> Right, so shall we get started? Shall we, shall we start? With, so first things first, you're going to need some of your A3 cardstock. Now, the reason I chose A3 was not because it was in stock or anything like that. It's just that I choose to work with larger cardstock. So the first things I'm going to do is give you the measurements for, and I'll just explain so you can see it, but we're going to create the outer part of this. So this part here is what we're going to create, but it, comes, it, it means we've got to do it in two. Even though we've got A3 cardstock, we've still got to do this bit into those two pieces. So first things first, take one sheet of this and we're going to measure this down to, or cut it down to, so this is when you're going to need your guillotine. So mm -hmm. I'm going to bring in my large guillotine just because I'm working with A3. Um, but I'm just going to extend into my little leg. I'm going to, and I say my little leg, I mean my little arm, but I call it a little leg. I don't know what anybody else calls this. <laughs> uh, but we're going to measure this up to um, 11 inches. So you're going to take it to the 11 inch mark make sure it's flush up to the top and then we're going to take that down to 11 inches keep hold of all your spare bits because you'll want to use those later on um, and then at eight and a half inches so take it up to the eight eight and a half inch mark nearly got that all mixed up um so 11 eight and a half and we're going yep. to do that twice okay so grab yourself another sheet and we'll come in and we'll take another one and we're going to come in at 11 inches and again I'm going to make sure it's right up to that very top and then we're going to take it to the eight and a half inch mark like so and that's the two main bases that we've got that's going to create because we're going to score this now and then we're going to form the first part of the folio or the photo album or whatever it is that you want to call it I know some people struggle with that with a folio, <laughs> including myself, I, I struggle with words at the best of times. An album. Uh, <laughs> so get your scoreboard, and with one of your pieces on the 11 inch side, we're going to score this. Now, large, small, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to score it, and I score in inches, so this is how I will work it. If you want to work it into centimetres, you can do, but I'm not very good with that because I, I tend to use inches for absolutely everything when I'm card making or construction wise. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to score this at one inch, seven inches and eight inches. So we've got a one inch, and top to bottom, gentle score lines throughout the top to bottom. We don't want to rip through that cardstock, but we do want to make sure we've got a good um, scoring. We'll do the burnishing in a second. So we've got one inch. We're coming over to the seven inch mark. And then we're going to move over to the eight inch mark as well. So when you take a look at this now, this is 11, eight and a half scored at one scored at seven and scored at eight okay now the second piece so that's your first piece the second piece that you've cut out which is the same measurements 11 by eight and a half this is going to be scored at one inch again so we're going to do the one inch top to bottom and then six and three quarters for anybody or, and i know we get asked this a lot but because especially if newbies are watching um between your six and your seven you've got your eighth inch increments in between each one mm -hmm. the raised one is the halfway mark so when you're coming to do the um six and three quarters it's the middle of the between the halfway mark to the seven or if you counted it it's one two three four five six so it's six okay. eighths of an inch if right. you ever wonder what that is um i just tend to go to the halfway mark look at the seven and go in the middle but if you want to be precise it's the six notch that you go or the sixth track as we call it okay. and go down but that's just six and three quarter 
an inch. Now, believe it or not, but that's your main spine done. So, and it's as simple as it is. And all we're going to do is we're going to get our bone folders, which I may have forgot to put on the shopping list. However, you've got a scoring tool and you can use your scoring tool as well to get those crisp score lines in. But if I just pop those in now, nice crisp. And I tend to, do, I don't know about anybody else, but I tend to turn it over and do both sides. Um, so I tend to do like both sides and do it that way. You'll hear other people that do both, uh, turn it inside out as well. Uh, but that's how I prefer to do it. So that's one part of it. And then bringing the other one that had the one inch, seven inch and eight inch, we're going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to bring that down and we're going to score. Now, if we have any questions, everybody's more than welcome to ask. But let's not forget as well, what we do have is... You can watch this craft along and then at any point you can go back to it because it's available on YouTube, it's available on Facebook, it lives there forever and you can go back to it at any point. Or you can, you can even bookmark it as well. Becky, did you mm. know that? Can you? you know, yeah, you can, yeah. You can save it in folders as well. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. I know, no, look at this. I I didn't. Look at me getting tech wizard there. Oh, no. <laughs> look at me getting all techy. Uh, <laughs> Not at all. Uh, <laughs> now, when you look at your pieces, you'll notice one's got two score lines, one's got three score lines. The way to make the folio part is we're going to join the two one-inch tabs together. Oh, my God, those seagulls are back. Did you, did you hear them, Becky, then? I was like, I know, that's because you, you dissed them at the beginning at show. It's come now, it's fetched all his friends. Did you hear how many they were then? Oh, my God. Do you know, now, I, always, I always thought of seagulls as being quite a nice thing. You know, you're thinking uh, about, uh, I'm built by the sea. Uh, uh. After the noise that that seagull makes, it does fill me with dread. What was the, it was Hitchcock's film, The Birds, wasn't oh, it? Oh, I can't uh, watch that film. No, I don't I think can't I, watch that I don't film. think I've ever watched it, and I don't think I will now. No, and I'll tell you something else as well. They're not nice birds. I don't care what anybody says. Um, and I once went to Whitby and nicked me fish and chips. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Literally, we were sat on rocks and I honestly, I've never been so frightened in all my life. I thought, they can have them. They, can, they won't get them this day and age, let me tell you, at the price they are. <laughs> They'd have a wrestle on their hands. It's what they'd have. But uh, yeah, um, honestly, awful, 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 awful. Not my kind of thing. Now, you'll notice I've just put some red liner tape top to bottom. This is your choice of glue. This is construction. I often talk about this when I'm doing anything with construction. I always use red liner tape. But your choice. You can use the other dry glue that we have, which is super strong. It's a super strong adhesive. You can use the tape pen. The one you won't be using, as much as we love having it back, you will not be using the dotty tape pen. That is not for construction. That is not to be used when you are putting things together. That's for your intricate dyes mm -hmm. only. Right, okay. So strong glue, you can use wet glue, tacky glue, whatever glue you want. Personally, myself, it's a red line of tape. But the two inch tabs, we are going to join together. So I'm going to line that up over to that first fold and we're going to pop that together. So I'm going to lift it off. Let me grab my, um, my little pokey tool. Let's go in, lift off the pokey tool. And if you want to give yourself a little bit of extra wiggle time, little top tape, you can run a little bit of wet glue on. On the top of the red liner tape? On top liner of the red liner tape. Now, the thing with red liner tape, Becky, is it is beyond strong. Right. I've never known a glue like it in my life for a tape. You pop that down, and then when you've sealed it, you cannot shift it. So to get this into place, having the wet glue over the top gives me that little mm, bit, okay. tiny bit of wiggle time. But all I'm going to do is just match it up to the top and to the bottom. I'm not going over that score line, I'm just going to it. Because what I want to do is have a free, it freely folds over without getting caught. So just make sure it's just under that score line. When you're happy with it, then you can seal it. Um, and that's why I always put that little bit of wet glue on. But I don't know if you've noticed, but um, you've got the main part of your folio already done wow. we're going to add all the extra bits on in a second because we're going to put some extra bits over this side we're going to put some central pages into here um you're going to keep this one as it is because we're going to add on to it and if i just bring it in just for a second so you can visibly see it over the top can we just draw back a little bit charlotte thank you so what you'll see is that that is the main part of that tab this is just the extra little panel we've put on the front this is the main part where all this middle section is going to go. Mm -hmm. This is that next tab. And then this is where we're going to have the closure. Now, if you look at it, we've already got one part of it done. Oh, so yes. we're going to nextly do this bit and then all of these bits. And we'll have constructed all of that and then we could do all the mats and layers. Lovely. So I think what we're going to do is just two set 
just a couple of minutes yep. just to recap let gareth um uh, gaz catch up um, and um talk about some of the things that we've got on the show as well so we'll come back to this in a second fantastic now um debbie's used these dies for decorating the top of that um album and um, this first one is oh get them around the right way this is your pretty posy and um, very very pretty and um, that and then you've got your uh, blooming botanicals so these are buy one get one free um so the price is six pounds 99 or eight dollars 99 your platinum price is five pounds 59 or a seven dollars 19. they're really pretty you could use those a lot with those different things there and the next thing we're going to have a look at is your baroque borders where have i put those oh becky 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 disorganized <laughs> there we go these are gorgeous you saw these earlier on and we saw them uh, this morning you saw them yesterday as well when they were launched they are absolutely beautiful so this one is your chambord 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 um, this one is your talons. Talons? Talons. Talons. My <laughs> awful <laughs> French accent. Dijon. And your Lyon. Um, I think that's my, that's my favourite one. That one. That's really, really pretty. £24.99. $29.99. Platinum price is £19.99 or $23.99. You get those two different dies in there. One to cut the outline, one to cut the um, intricate um, pattern on there. Um, so really well worth having. And um, lots of people are messaging in and says, I'm saving this in case I fall asleep. Um, it's early-ish. <laughs> oh, no, hold on. It's early-ish and raining here. Aww. This sort of weather makes me want to sleep all day. I'm with you with that. Yes. yes. She wasn't going to say that you were going to be boring. <laughs> um, lots of people saying hello to Gareth. Terry says, hi, Gareth. Barbara says, hey, Gareth. Linda says, hello, Gareth. So everyone's saying hello. And Corinne says, um, oh, your American sisters love you. Oh, oh Karen says so nice to see a man in the group. We've had a few join lately, which is fab. I totally agree with that. Um, Polly says fabulous day to all from Blountstown, Florida. Debbie's craft alongs are always awesome. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Is that a song from Lego Movie? Everything is awesome. I've Everything never seen the Lego awesome. Movie. No, I've never seen that one. No, I'm not oh, seeing that one. You need to watch that. It's quite, it's quite entertaining. <laughs> yeah, it's quite good. Right. Um, Gareth, how are you getting on? Well, I think I'm doing quite well so far. Yay! I've managed to Excellent. make the whole thing without burning That's anything good. down. So, woo! That's good. <laughs> it is, because it does... Honestly, it's probably one of the easiest albums that you're ever going to do. Yeah. Um, and um, there's all sorts of things I will talk about later, because the lady that I took the inspiration from had surprise elements in. She oh. had extra lease in there, because you can extend them. Um, I've just tried to keep it simple within that two-hour mark, but you can have so much fun with the folio. And there's loads of tuition out there on all those different lovely, wonderful, talented crafters out there that can do these. However, we'll crack on, because we've got a little bit more to yes. do to get it all together before we start using the punches. Now, one of your spare pieces of your cardstock that you took off your initial first two pieces that you cut, you're going to be able to use to create the other side of that flap. So mm -hmm. we're going to take that one and we're going to measure this piece too. Um, we're going to cut it down to four and a half inches. So I always make, I like to get longevity out of my cardstock. So yeah. I always make sure that I use as much as I possibly can from what I call my waist. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to the four and a half inch mark, cut that down. And then if you remember, we've talked about the eight and a half inch at the very beginning with yep. those first. So we need this to be eight and a half. Okay. So we're coming in at eight and a half with this one, like so. So you've got a piece here that measures at uh, four and a half by eight and a half. We're going to score this at an halfway inch mark in a second, but we've got another little piece that we want to cut so that we can take out of the other side and i think we can let me just double check if i remember rightly we might have to go into a second yeah we're going to go into a second piece this is when you can actually um switch up to your a4 card stop now yeah the main two pieces that i needed for the a3 but if you've still got a3 then use your a3 um but if you've got a4 absolutely fine because what we're going to do with this one is we're going to cut this down to six inches by nine so i'm going to come in at the six inch mark and since i've got all me a3 i'm going to do that so six inches and this time we're coming to the nine inch mark now with the six inch mark and i don't know if you know with our guillotines wait a minute is this is this the guillotine that's in the april showers 
The small, the small one, one, I mean, I'll just explain because they're both the same. It's just that one's big, one's small. Um, but it is an in, in, there's integrated scoreboard in there. Mm -hmm. However, when you use it as a guillotine, you've got to try and remember that. So normally you would take it up to that mark because there's a guillotine in it. There's a little well, there's yep. a little track. So when you're using it, you go just under the number because if you go over, it's bigger than six. Did you know oh, that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, so you just have to be careful. And I only know that through accident. OK. And then Craig said to me, did you know that, Debbie? And I went, no, I didn't know that, Craig. And he went, yeah, that's, uh, that's part of the uh, thing because of the integrated scoreboard. So I'm like, oh, mm. never knew that. Uh, right, so I have got now my... And I'll come... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Just give me a second. Don't say uh-oh. Uh it's all right, I thought I'd lost it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this one, your four and a half one, bring that back, four and a half by eight, bring your score back, scoreboard back and score it at the halfway mark. Now, a little, another little top tip, we always tell you to work from this way in, but do you know if you can't get and it's a bit too close to the board, as long as it's up to the butt of the board, score it at your four, because that's your other half. Okay. Make yeah. it a bit easier for yourself. I try to do that. I don't know if producer Lily's the same, but... Uh, I absolutely have to make it easy for myself. And sometimes when you've got your board up there, your hand can become a little bit light and it's like, oh, well, just take it to the other side because it doesn't matter. Just make, it, make life easy for yourself. Um, so that is going to create, and I'm just going to come in again. We're going to pop our score line into place. Like so. And we're going to pop that... Right, so I've heard from HQ uh, that Gaz has got a little bit lost. Just want to ask, ask Gaz, can we pop him on the box or just have a quick, uh, quick question? What's the question? I've just gotten a little bit lost with um, where I'm scoring and which piece I'm scoring because I've just cut down three pieces. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Four and a half by eight and a half. You're going to score yep. on the four and a half side, half an inch down. Yep. Because that's going to right sit an into inch. your um, album. So that's, that's how that's going to work. So the four and a half by eight and a half. So if I just show you there for a second. Uh, because this is going to sit, let me just show you, because it's going to be that enclosure part. Can you see? We're going to sit this in a second onto there. So this measures at four and a half by eight and a half and score it at the half inch um, increment. Um, because that's going to be that second little flap that sticks down in a minute. And the other, set, the, other, the other piece that I've just asked you to cut was a piece that measures at six by nine. And we'll come to this one in a minute because what I want to do is just show you how to put this to create that little open enclosure part of the other side of your album. OK, so I hope that helps, guys. So that is four and a half, eight and a half, score at half an inch and then what we're going to do and again because I, I do like to use a red liner tape i'm just going to pop it onto the uh, flap you can switch to a smaller one if you want at this point with your red liner tape uh, but i find this one just fits perfectly so i'm going to just pop it on um, i'm going to give myself that little helping hand again um, so i am going to put a little bit of wet glue because where we're going to be taking this now is we are going to be popping it onto i'm just going to remove my backing first just so you can see um, so what you're going to do is if you ignore this half of your album and just come into this part that folds over this is the other tab so don't be tempted to stick it because I'll tell you, I'll give you a little in insight. I tipped it the wrong way. So I, <laughs> I want you to make sure you've got it the right way because I had to start again um, and we don't want that. So no. I'm just going to make sure though, because I've seen, I've got a little bit of my tape. I did say my eyes were a bit bad today. Debbie Robinson, what are you like? Um, I'm just going to smooth that over so I haven't got any excess glue coming over. Um, but when you think about where you're popping it, the tab with the sticky is going to sit here. You want that little bit of extra help? Pop your wet glue on. Um, I feel fairly confident with this one. Um, <laughs> famous last words. <laughs> now, when you're looking at your folio it, or your album, let's call it an album, Debbie. Let's not complicate things. But this first score line is where you're going to sit it, but you're going to sit it just under. If you sit it on the line, it will make it very difficult for it to close up. Mm -hmm. We don't want that, so we're going <laughs> to, she says, no, no, I'm not. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it for a biscuit. We're not doing it. 
is that worth it um, i'm going to give myself that extra little bit of time just to get it sat underneath that fold line and of course as well make sure it's flush to the top and the bottom what you don't want to do is go over now this is when you might have realized that your guillotine mark or you cut you've 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 kind of messed up because you can have a little bit of an overhang. Now you'll see when I put that down, because I've got the wet glue on, it gives me time to wiggle it and gives me that time to pop it down. Now what, before you stick it completely solid, I want you to be able to fold that right over so that you can feel it moves smoothly. Does that make sense? Yeah. So again, I'm gonna take it up there. I'm fairly happy with where that is. I'm just gonna test it. Yep, absolutely fine. I'm gonna open it and I'm just gonna now seal it. So that is now sealed, and now I've got that enclosure part, okay? So that is how that little part of the folio works. This is when you can add extra leaves on if you want to. But right now, we're just going to concentrate as it is. Nice, simple one. But if you were to take this and extend it further, this is when you can add little panels in here that flip up. Mm -hmm. You could drop a little um, pocket here to pop things into. You could take it on this side and extend it so it opens out even more or goes up. This is what I love about albums, and I get quite excited about it because I love making them. Um, but uh, for now, we're going to keep it pretty simple. But once you've got the confidence and knowing how to do, you can extend this and create a little bit more. So that bit is that part done and if i just bring this back in again so you can see it if i just uh, open that up that is this bit that's done let me just move that out of the way you see yeah yeah starting to take shape so where are you you ask does the other piece go well <laughs> that is the bit that's going to come in now so and it's going to sit into this middle bit now before we do anything we're going to make sure it fits because if you don't get this bit right becky it will not close right. so I'm, i did give you the measurement of six you might just need to cut it under. So, and I'm talking about this main part here. It's the first part of this. So it's the full width of that measurement. So it's eight and a half by six. However, if you want this to close up, you've got to make sure that fits. So we're not going to stick anything down until you're confident and you're comfortable that this middle bit fits in there now I can see straight away I've overcut it because look if I try and do, it's not gonna it's not gonna fasten so I'm gonna take a slither off this so I'm gonna come down just a fraction under six and the reason I've done nine and if you think about it this is eight and a half what am I gonna have at the top an half inch score line yep. because that's the bit that's going to tuck underneath and sit at the top this time so get back to your scoreboard in fact before we do actually let's just take off my slither and I bet you any money I've gone, yeah, I went a bit over. So I'm going to come underneath. I'm not going to worry too much. What I will say to you is when you're doing this section, choose an area. So if you're going to come down to about, you can actually come down to five and three quarters if you want. Mm -hmm. doesn't matter. It'll just make it a little bit slimmer um, inside that six inch bit. But I'm just going to come just underneath the six inch mark. But what I need to remember with all the rest of the pieces that are going to fit on the top. So if I just bring this back in again to show you what I mean again is that all of these need to be the same size as that main one, okay? So yep. that's what I want you to take focus of. I'm coming just underneath six inches, as you can see. It's just slightly under. Let's give that another little snip. And then all my rest of the pieces, which we'll talk about in a second, because we are going to make sure we get, for this first hour, the folio done, and the rest of it will all take shape once we've done it. Um, again, we're going to come in at half inch, but this time we're not taking it down. We're going across the top. So it's a smaller part. So the bit that's the six inch or just under six inch is where we're going to put our half inch mark. So when you're using your board and your scoreboard, we're going to come down again. Um, and again, if you want to make it easier and that's a bit too close, come over this side and do exactly the same. You know it's nine inch, so we're going to go to the eight and a half inch groove. Make things simple make things work for you yeah. if that's too uncomfortable to go down don't worry come to the other side and do it that way and then we're going to fold that over we're going to pop our glue onto there so our tape is going to go onto there and we're going to attach it to the top and it's going to sit in and i'm just going to show you where in relation to the other side of your album can you see where you've got your two score lines that's your spine, that's your first flap. This is where it needs to sit. Mm -hmm. And so, like I said, you need to make sure that you've got that bit nice and, and it fits. So again, before you actually stick it down, does that fold nice and freely? If it folds nice and freely, 
you're absolutely fine to go if you want to take it down that little bit more just remember don't go too mad yeah don't go down to five don't go down to you could no no five and a half is too small so go down to five and three quarters mm -hmm. and, and it's only that little quarter of an inch but it'll make a difference in the free flowing of your album okay and um, so i want you to stick that bit down and we'll come back and take all the rest of the measurements for the rest of the pages that are going to sit onto there including that front part but you get that bit stuck down and we're good to go with the next piece because you can see it's starting to come together okay fantastic um, lots of people loving what you're doing um, Lynn says I'm here to support a fellow Isle of Wight resident I'm sorry I'm a little bit late um, lots of people saying about crows and, and magpies as well and uh, yeah I think seagulls are worse Linda says the birds is a movie I saw once and can never see again Lillian Kwok says I have crows and magpies stomping on my roof sometimes they peck at the skylight which is quite alarming um, Magpie, magpies are the ones that mate for life, aren't they? That's why you, it's unlucky only to see one, because they're normally together. Um, the, Evelyn says, good morning from beautiful Colorado. Anne says, Debbie could never be boring. Aww. Uh, Faye says, uh, she's, she's never, never boring, Debbie. Um, hello, Debbie, uh, Becky and everyone. Nice to meet you guys from Faye in Kent. Fred171 says, greetings, everyone. I had to be here for Gareth. Aww. Lots of Gareth love. There is. Love. Exactly. Um, now, if you, um, if you haven't been watching us for a while, you would know these are back. But these are back. We've been desperately waiting for these. These are our dotty tape pens. We don't know where they've been gone, but we've, you know, they've got lost somewhere. They had a very long holiday. They're back. They're back to work. And they are flying out the door all the time. Um, so this is um, buy two, get one for free. Um, so this is £9.98 or $13.90. Your platinum price is £7.98 or $11.12. And the 12 pence, 12 cents. Now these are <laughs> absolutely imperative if you're going to be using any of the intricate dies. Um, do have a look at um, red liner tape that we've been showing you earlier on. If you look under our April showers offer, um, there are some red liner tapes on there too. But there's loads of different things in there. We've got adhesives, we've got card, um, we've got a, a guillotine, all sorts of things that you may like to see and do remember we do have our freebie frenzy offer i'm getting good at saying that word um i'll be saying that i'll be dreaming about that tonight rather than um the other person that's from friends that i keep saying her name by mistake um but yeah do have a look at all the special deals that we've got on there they only run until midnight on sunday so do make sure that you do that soon right Debbie, how are you getting on? Right, so we are all, so I've got me to, so if I just show you for a second, you've got this side of it, flap, flaps, flap, flap, flaps. You've got your flap, flaps down. <laughs> you've got that bit side of your book done. Uh, you've actually got the main little one where you can actually put a little secret surprise if you wanted to. Uh, the lovely lady that I saw uh, do something similar had um, a twist and a pop. It popped Ooh. out. Um, another one that I saw had a waterfall. The waterfall came down here. Nice. Um, so there's lots of little surprises. And another one that I saw do something similar to this, um, she had even more drop down flaps inside that flap on top of the flaps that she had on top of that flap. Wow. I'm mean, honest to God, you could go on and on and on. They're just absolutely fabulous. And if you ever get a chance to look at some of the amazing albums that are out there, you'll see that there is so much potential. So this is where we're at now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add on the next three stages. So we've got three pieces to cut, including the main flap that sticks over the top. Now, you don't have to have that bit in if you don't want to, because that will work just equally as nice on its own. I just wanted to keep a nice enclosure and have it enclosed in, um, so it tucked away nice and neatly when I put it up. But you know, it, it just works, it just flows. Yeah. If you don't want to add that, you don't have to. It's entirely up to you. So you could leave that bit off and it would still look equally as nice, okay? However, I'm going to give you the measurements for it because that's what we've done and that's what I'm going to do. So this is when, again, you can switch to your A4 cardstock if you want, but I'm going to continue to use my A3 and I'm going to give you the measurements that you need now for these next three pieces and then including that small piece that goes over the bottom that like, like holds all those panels down. Yeah. So the first three we're going to do is we're going to do um, an eight by six, or let me just go back to you. Remember what I said about what size did you cut that down to? If you cut that down to five and three quarters, yeah. you are now going to cut this down to five and three quarters by eight, okay. by seven, by six, because they sit, they sit nicely on top of each other. Now I went under that six mark, so that's what I'm going to do with mine. Um, your first one is a little bit longer so we're going to come in at eight inches 
and under, for me, you remember what you did for yours. Mine's are under the six. The next piece that we're going to do is we're going to do seven by under the six. So I haven't got enough with that one. I haven't got enough with that one. Let's have a little peek. I might have to get another piece. Uh, let me grab it. I'm going to go to A4 just for this one, just for a second. So keep that one there for you. That's your eight. If it makes it easier, just write a little eight on it so that you know that that's that yeah. size. Um, we're going to come down to um, seven. So if I take it this way, I'm going to get most out of my cardstock with this. We're going to come down to, remember when I said six, but whatever you've gone, if you've gone to five and three quarters, take it to five and three quarters. I roughly know where mine is, so I'm okay. And you'll see, you need these bits, and if you see it now, they just sit on top of each other really mm -hmm. nicely. So the next one that we're going to go to is six by just under the six, or six by six if you're following that one. Yep. So I'm going to take that to the, well, that way, six inch mark by under the six inch mark. Ooh, ooh, that might be just, let me just go in there. I might have to go into another piece. Let's have a little look. Yeah, I'm just going to go into another little piece, Becky. Just bear with me, just because I'm a bit of perfectionist. Well, you want it all to match, don't you? you don't we want them to match, yeah. yeah. We don't want them to not match. We want them to sit neatly on top of each other um, so that when you look at this now, you can see you've got the staggered steps. And if I bring back in the main part, again, just so to show you where they are, that's them. That's those three steps. However, we've got to attach it. So you're going to score at every single one of your, and again, this is the six inch or the five and three quarters, whatever you are, that's where you're going to put your half inch score. So turn it and score it at half inches. Okay. So I'm going to show you again. Let's take that one off just for a second. Bring back in that scoreboard. And each one of these, we are going to score at half an inch. I'm going to show it you there so you can see. Take it off and do it at a half inch mark. Yet again, if that is too tricky for you, go to this side and do it that way. There's no right or wrong way. So you've got your half. The next one at half. And the next one at half. So you can see as we're going up, we're not changing anything. It's exactly the same. And we are going to pop our folds in. Now, we're not going to stick these down just for the time being. And the reason being is, is there's a focus of this craft along. And it's our punches. Yeah. And we are going to, I know, we, I know, I know that people will be going like, but we ain't got any left. But there's a lot of you out there that will have, uh, have got them. Uh, but we want to be able to, uh, before we stick it down, because it'll start getting a little bit tricky uh, when you start sticking them down, because you've got to start lifting them up and punching. And if it's all attached in, it gets a little bit on the tricky side. Yeah. So I'm going to bring in, now I am choosing to use, just for this one, the best tool in the business, um, the three-in-one corner punch. And you've got three different sizes on there from a 10 to a four to a seven. So you've got three, and you can see the shape of them. So a bit more fat rounder. Is that the right way to describe it? Curved. 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 That's not a nice name, is it? Uh, look at this one. Little skinny mini. Skinny curve. Yep. And then the in-between curve. <laughs> in between those two and um, I love this and, uh, and again it's really nice and easy now I know there's been some controversy and I'm going to just tell you we're going to get this uh, we're going to get the elephant out of the room because right. um there was um we've recommended that our punches are used with a lighter cardstock um I know from personal use and you can ask the other experts as well you can cut 300 gsm with them right you can get that with the decorative ones and with the corner punch however Dexterity problems. If you have dexterity problems, don't make life hard for yourself. Mm. Don't try and punch out with a... Because you've got to put some... And I say force. There's not some force. There's, you've just got to put a little bit of extra pressure to it. Yeah. So for me, do what's right for you. And that's all I'm going to say. But I'm going to show you that these cut through 300 GSM. They cut through glitter cardstock. They cut through craft cardstock. They cut through matte black cardstock. I use them all the time. And I promise you, they will. Okay. However, as a recommendation to cover everybody... Yep. We say a lighter weight or a paper, which you'll get optimum results out of paper. You're going to see that with when we move to the plaids. Uh, but they will work with 
an A card stock. Of course, there's going to be some exceptions. Yeah. The more heavier weight the card stocks or anything like an Unki Dory one that's 350 GSM, I'd stay clear of that one. Yeah. I, I, won't, I won't even try. Uh, but we're going to pop in some decorative corners. So before we stick these flaps down, we're going to pop those corners in. Now, I'm choosing my personal one, which is the chunky <laughs> there's surprise there's a surprise <laughs> the chunky curve uh, and just gonna just literally give that a little rounded edge when you're using them you push the cardstock in the corner right as far as that will go and it takes off that lovely smooth curve and you can see that lovely smooth yes, curve. yes nice i like that so i love it it gives it a softer feel yeah. when you're doing this and i'm going to repeat that on all of them so again go right up to that edge but can you see i'm holding this in my hand this is 300 gsm cardstock and it's absolutely fine there's you know it's got this gorgeous rounded feature and again it just cuts absolutely like a dream you were going to get little bits on there just wipe them off your table if you aren't very good with holding them pop it on there the lovely thing about this is it's got a non-slip bottom i wish we all had one of them <laughs> um, and pop that in the corner and you can hold your but you can hold your cardstock in there you can then push down so you find what's right for you um, in terms of your cutting whether you want to pop it on the desk and push or whether you want to hold it in your hand and push for me it's a personal choice you'll find what works for you um, and i know i'm just going to say producer lily i knew i knew she was going to say that <laughs> it, it depends on what you feel you're more comfortable with and if you're more comfortable with doing it in the hand then that's absolutely fine but now you've got your three layers and they are going to stick into your for your album shall i say in a second in preparation what you can be doing is you can be popping your glue just onto these inner tabs and how we're going to stick these on is we're going to go with that next size down so the eight the but the one that was the eight which is now seven and a half will sit onto the top we're not going to tuck it underneath we're going to tuck it onto the top so i'm just going to lift it there so that you can see that it's going to sit on top of there and the same with the other however we've got a folio we've got an album and it's all squared so what are we going to do we're going to use our decorative punch or your rounded edge i'm going with the rounded edge for these i'm going to use the decorative punches on my mats and my layers mm -hmm. but if you want to use a nice little heart one or the lovely fleur de lis or whatever it is you can go in and do that with these it's your craft along it's your project yep. it's entirely up to you what you do with this you make it personal to you you've got all the choices of all the gorgeous punches all in a lovely little basket that you can choose so if you love the love hearts you can go in and you can put the love hearts directly into that cardstock um, if you want to it's entirely up to you make this personal to yourself i can't wait to see what everyone's going to make with them mm. um, but it's entirely up to you and there is other ones the only one i wouldn't do is the photo one i would right. save that one for the pieces that you're going to put into your album so save that for later yep. but you've got all those decorative punches that work and we're going to do that so while you are doing that we can show over yep. while we do this because this bit is just exactly the same as what i've done okay. and i am using the rounded punch to go around and soften all of those square edges up so i'm just coming in taking it up to the very end and i'm doing it around all of my pages if you look at where i'm going i'm going into the pages of the book every single one that we've got on there i'm taking and i'm just softening up now if you're using your decorative one they'll look incredible to give it a nice little feature and um we'll add your own twist to it as well um all i'm going to say is if you are choosing a decorative one make sure you're following decorative throughout yeah. so it, it all ties in yeah. yep okay Lovely. so that's about it for me becky all okay. i want you to remember is pop your tape onto the top end of your little tabs flaps whatever you call them go in and stick in the next size up mm -hmm. so you're going to start with the largest and then stick the middle size one down so let me just show you just for a second so you can see it visibly stick that one on stick that one on and that one on and on top of each other not underneath because you get a real bulky bit and then it can become really messy we're doing it separately okay, okay. yep lovely so i'll um, carry on doing that fantastic um sarah says good morning ev good morning debbie becky cc team and everyone hello from arkansas um tess says i love making little albums and portfolios like this um lots of people have asked if we can post the measurements on the facebook page of course I will, yeah. so yeah we we'll definitely do that um christy mahoney this is a question for you gareth you're hard crafting and uh, we need to see all your albums 
on the shelf. You're a bit of an album maker. Ah, oh, wow. So what a perfect that, guess for today then. finding it super easy today. It's just like, ah, I could do this with my eyes closed. I've done <laughs> hundreds of these albums. Is it, have you got lots of albums or is it ink pads that we can see behind you? It's ink pads. Yeah, it's, it's ink pads ink we've got pads. there. I have um, a very wide selection. I have a um, problem for another crafting person as well as crafters I companion. I know who you mean. <laughs> I know who you mean. <laughs> so this, is this your first album that you've made, or first folio that you've made? Um, this is the first folio I've ever made. Excellent. Um, oh. I've made because uh, I'm also I get the craft club from QVC. Mm -hmm. I've made a few of the albums that come with that. Lovely. But other than that, this is the first one I've made, so it's, it's, uh, I think actually it's looking quite well at the moment. I've yeah. done all my rounding of the corners. Excellent. And I'm just about to stick all my flaps down. Brilliant. So. Oh, I'm glad you're keeping up. That looks really good. Actually, it's, I'm, I'm going to have to make one myself, actually, Debbie, because I, I think I should do one for my niece's wedding. Yes, so, I was so just thinking the same. The, um, yeah. Unfortunately, we've got no decent photographs. I said to my husband, take some pictures. And my family have all got a habit of taking f photographs just here. Down, so it makes me look like I've got a massive forehead. Um, <laughs> it's not very attractive. Um, I don't know why, that, but my their phones are full of pictures of me lo looking like that. And it's a bit strange. Um, so I don't have any decent photos. So I have to get some good photos from the wedding. But I think this is a great, inspiring item for you to do. Right, we're going to go for a quick break. Um, take up this opportunity to have a look at the April showers deals that are on there because there are some great deals that everyone is going to need to use. And take the opportunity to check out your baskets and we'll see you in a couple of moments. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Our craft experts come from all over the UK to HQ up in the northeast, and here they are telling you a little bit about where they're from and what it's famous for. So I'm from a beautiful town called Carnoustie. So many people may recognise the town as a golfing town, famous golfing town. We get lots of big golfing events. I can't say that I'm a golfer myself, uh, but we do get a lot of uh, the celebs, golfers, musicians, actors, all of these turning up at the town. For those that aren't into golfing, what I would tend to say is it's sandwiched in between Arbroath and Dundee. So we are quite far up. Um, I love my town, I love where I am now, however I will say one of the main things that I miss about my hometown, apart from my family and friends of course, have to say that, otherwise they're going to watch this and be like, where's our mention? It is of course the beach, you know, we're right on the, the River Tay, we've got the gorgeous beach, the sand and the sea, it's absolutely beautiful, it's the one thing that I always make a beeline for as soon as I arrive back home for a little visit. I was brought up in Colnbrook, which is a little village um, near Slough, so it's not very exciting, um, but we do have the third oldest pub um, in the whole of the UK there, and it's where the Cox's Pippin Apple was first invented or first discovered. Um, but I moved to Chiswick in West London about 25 years ago, and I've lived there ever since, and I love it. It's full of, I wouldn't necessarily say celebrities, but TV stars, um, so it's quite good for celebrity spotting when you're having a cocktail on the highway. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Go 
get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crackers Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you're keeping up with the craft along, having some ideas about what kinds of things you might want to do and put in your, your do you call it a folio or do you call it an album? I would always call it an album, I think. A folio, folio is a bit tricky to say, especially after you've had a couple of cocktails. Not that I've had any cocktails today, because even though it's a bank holiday weekend. No, I've had a cup of tea and that's as much as, as much, I think tea and cake, you're right, Lily. Tea and cake is what you need. It makes you happy, doesn't it? And, and chocolate, of course, duh. I said earlier on today, I said I'd fill the need with some chocolate. I haven't had any chocolate this morning. Need a little bit of chocolate, I think. Okay. Mm. Right, back to, back, better work now, no food. Um, we've got amazing collection here. This is your country lane collection. Now, with this, you buy four things and you get nine for free makes no sense to me this is a 70 percent saving this is what happens when everyone else is away for the bank holiday weekend we just we just pop whatever we fancy on the show whatever price we fancy as well it's not true um so the first thing you're going to be getting in here is your um this is your garden gateway very very pretty design here then we've got our gateway to the country this is our cut and emboss folder then we have our dusk till dawn i've got the van rope i've got it upside down again Becky, it's quite difficult to see which way. Uh, I don't know. The stamp and die set, really nice that one. This is your light up the lane. These are the two that I think are just about Narnia as far as I'm concerned. This next one is your elegant lace. And um, so, to, don't want that way, man. Do you want to see it that way? This is your elegant lace for your embellishments. Then you've got your swirled butterflies. You also have your country lace die here, which I think is really pretty. You've got your perfect peony. Then you've got your lace frame, not lace frank as I first read it as. Um, perennials in pots, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I think you can use that in so many different ways. I've lost the stamps. I am going to glue those together in a moment. Then I've got your hanging sign with your vines. It's so pretty. I love, mine's your Shrek lily. Oh yeah, I suppose, oh, it, it, very, be a very pretty Shrek thing. I think this is very pretty. I can just sort of see that in loads of different ways. And then this final one is your cottage window. This is a crazy, crazy price. So once this, we said it's four by four items, you're getting nine for free. It's £29.96 or $28.80. Your platinum price is £23.97 or $23 and four pence. Um, loads of people are enjoying this craft along. Uh, let's have a look here. Um, Gaz has lo this is from Curran. Gaz has loads of goodies in his craft room, especially the, the Nouveau drops. They are my faves. Laurie says, Gaz, you look fabulous. Mary Reno says, I love this project, Debbie. Um, <laughs> Creative Spirit Design says, he has a bit of a problem. That's probably my fault. Oh, is that um, and we're, we've had a few people asking to have a nosy round to your craft room later if we've got time. I don't know if we will have time, <laughs> but if you're up for that, maybe we could do that. Um, Alison says, can Debbie repeat how to attach the leaves to the album part, please? And is it the leaves of this, this, this middle piece? I'm assuming. Not sure. I think so, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to presu presume, Alison, that's yeah. what you mean. So on the middle part of your album with your pieces, don't forget we started off with that very large one that we stuck in as the base. So if we, if we talk about the first one, this is the one, it's the very top you're going to attach it to. So that half inch is where you're going to first attach your first piece. The rest you are going to stick on individually on top of each other. So that um, the piece that was the eight by this, we'll call it eight by six, um, with your half inch is the next bit that you're going to stick on top of the first large piece and then you're going to stick that next size down so remember the seven one that had the half inch 
that's the bit that you're going to stick on and you're going to attach it from the very top and the same with the very last one that was the six by the six at the half inch and if i just bring it up there can you see that they now form on top of each other if you tuck them behind the back of each other it gets really bulky whereas that's now nice and flat and hmm. um, so for me and it just makes that flow easier when you're coming to use your album it makes it flow. now don't be worried about any of this because we're going to cover it up we've got mats and layers to pop on yeah and it'll cover that up and it, to be fair you won't even notice those if you want to try and tuck them all you can but you will find it bulky and when you're closing it up and everything you'll see i mean you can see this has already started to take shape yeah left hand little flaps tiny and this is how it will fold so it will sit in and that's how it will fold up we're going to attach the front part on in a second what we're going to do is if you want to have this bit in you can but the little bit that goes over the top to hold it all down and the use of magnets and velcro dots will become apparent in a second okay i'm going to tell you i prefer magnets right if you don't want to use magnets or you haven't got magnets or you haven't got velcro dots leave it be you don't have to worry about it it's still going to look beautiful and you could actually attach the main part with ribbon yeah. if you wanted to mm -hmm. um, but i'll show you how to attach the magnets for those that you've got them so the next bit that we're going to do is just the, the 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 bit that goes over that front flap to hold those three four flaps down so this bit is going to measure in at uh, four and i'm going to go about four and a quarter it's up to you um i wouldn't go any bigger because um if you remember your base is six if you go too big it'll look really bulky okay. um, so I'm going to come to about four, about four and a quarter and by uh, yeah we'll go to seven we'll take it to seven and then we're going to pop on now another score line and we're going to remove those pieces we're going to score this an inch this time we're going to have a nice big um, bottom part a bottom tab um, and just to make sure that it, it holds everything down nice and neatly as well so we're going to come in at an inch and you're doing the inch on the four and a quarter side okay just so i were clear with that uh, you know that part popping that on and then this and i want you to lift all your flaps up because we're going to attach it to that base and then pop your glue here so again you could use your red liner tape so if you just pop i'm just going to pop a little bit down you could pop a couple of pieces on there but um We've got a lot to get through still, so I want to try and get as much as I possibly can done for you. Yeah. But you can already see it starting to take shape. The next bit is going to be all the decoration. And what's lovely about this is, is that obviously there's no die cutting involved. If you want to add a front, I, I just added a nice little decorative mm. piece up front. But you're going to make this personal to yourself, so we're not going to concentrate too much on that. Make sure all those flaps are tucked up. And I'm just going to show you because I'm a little bit out of shot there. Make sure they're all pushed up only that base there in the middle section of your folio you're going to stick that down and you're going to try and work out where your center is again i'm not going to lie i do it guess what becky bye bye eye. bye eye. if you want to go <laughs> precise measure it in but however pop all those down that tucks over the top and it creates that lovely piece however looks a bit square the rest of it so whatever you decided with your punches and i'm going to go back to this one take off and soften that edge and it just all ties in so if you use the decorative one you can start to see how it's taking shape it softens it all up and i think it gives it that really nice feature when you're looking at it that they're not they're not straight edges hmm. they look nice with straight edges if you haven't got a punch yeah. that's absolutely fine but that looks to me like we've just done that for you. I love that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do this little part at the very front. And again, I'm going to show you how we're going to use one of the decorative punches. And I'm going to get that one out that I used. So let me just grab for a second. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? You're there. I'm going to show you that this on a corner of a cardstock, and I'll just bring in a scrap for you. You've got the corner base so that you, when you push that in, it goes into the corner it creates that lovely scalloped edge. What I love about these decorative punches is, is that it works on each one of the corners. So it goes round every corner, but it also with the removal of the base, and not only to get rid of it, now becomes a straight edge one. So it's the two in one factor that I love about these punches. And they punches. all like that. They're all like that. That's Apart brilliant. from the three in one, which has got your three in one there. 
uh, that's not the part of the cardstock. I was just giving this as an example. So for our lovely Gaz who's listening, don't worry about this, Gaz. I was just showing you how to do the corner and how we're going to do the straight because we're going to come to that one. Um, and again, I'll, I'll just give you my size that I use. In fact, Debbie's going to have to measure it because I forgot to write that bit down. Uh, so you're just going to excuse me a minute while I just give my little self a little Do you want to use my little tape measure? No, it's fine. Don't you worry. Uh, <laughs> We're going to do, actually, we're going to do a four by, we're going to do a four by six. I'm going to add that on. Okay. That's what I'm going to do, because that's what I did with this one. So we're going to take a four by six, bit of scrap paper that you had from earlier. Do you know all those earlier off cuts that you had? Um, you could use one of those. We'll have a little four by six panel. Let me grab some spare cardstock. I know I've got loads under here, but I've put it all away like a good girl. Um, guillotine. And I'm going to cut this down to six inches by four inches I'm going to round all of my pieces to kind of keep it in line with what I've been doing so I'm going to take that all the way around and that's going to sit on the front but not yet it's not so we're not going to stick this do not stick down yet um, and then we're going to add a nice little strip now I'll take it to about so we know that that's six so we're going to go to six again let me grab another square piece for a second I've got that many scraps down here, Becky. I don't know what I'm doing with myself. <laughs> let's go in. I'm going to take this to about... Let's take it to about two and a half. And I'm still going to go to the six. But now what we're going to do is... I'm going to show you how to get your straight edge. So... And to be fair, turn it over. Make it a bit easier for yourself so you can see it. Um, you can, if you want, to be precise, have some measurements where you could start in the middle. Mm -hmm. And you could take that and, and pop a little middle. But... Debbie being Debbie does it things by eye, by eye. Um, because it doesn't really matter no what we want is just a decorative edge you can start at the top if you want and then work your way down uh, but I'm going to start roughly in the middle and I'm going to hold oh Debbie hold it and I'm going to just punch that in now this is when you can pop it onto your desk and punch down with your hand doesn't have a, um, um, a squidgy bottom, what's the word I'm looking for? It uh, doesn't have a non-slip bottom, this right. bit, but you can hold it and when you punch, it punches through your cardstock. I'm just going to do it by hand because I like to see it by eye and in my hand yep. to see where I'm going. Now, when you want to create that decorative panel, can you see this little... Um, what's the shape. word I'm looking? V-shape? Chevron. Chevron? V-shape? Yeah. I'm going to take it and over it over the end so I'm going to take it where I can visibly see that the V is now it's very difficult on camera but when you've got it by your eye you'll be able to tell you don't want to go over the pattern you want to take it to the end of the V shape mm -hmm. hover it over that V shape and then punch it through so you can see now it creates this little oh, pattern yes. starting to form Lovely. so you're going to do exactly the same so you're not going to go over the pattern because if you go over the pattern you're going to end up with a little bit of a unpatterned mess is the only way I can describe it. You're going to take that little V-shape, you're going to take it up and marry it up to the very end where the other one is, hold your cardstock straight and punch that through. So now we're going up and it's creating this lovely little pattern. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to repeat that just one more time for you. So take it up to that very edge and you can see, you'll be able to visibly see where you are at and then punch that out and you've created now this gorgeous little pattern that's starting to form. If I just show you, you're going to continue that all the way down. It's exactly the same. Um, you work out what is easy for you. If you want to start at the bottom and work your way up, absolutely you can. And then, you know what you could do? Do you know how I took it to six by two and a half? Mm. You could have actually quite a nice big strip and then you could mm. cut it down. Yeah. Is what you could do. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's up to you. So just practice. Have a little practice with this. Now, this is a multi-purpose card stock. It is 300 GSM. And you can see I am punching and punching that through. If you want to use a card stock, a coloured card stock, you absolutely can. Um, but just for the sake of my, perf you know, my de decoration, um, I'm using white. If you want to use a colour, get a colour on there, whack a colour on it, it'll look absolutely fab. And you can do that all the way down. I'm just going to just take off the very end. There's no point trying to get any more out of that because it's come to its natural end. I even love the waist. <laughs> The way really is nice, fabulous, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. It's like a little uh, crocodile mouth. Um, but you can attach that now onto there, and then you can literally 
snip off the end okay yep. so that's going to create that lovely little panel now you could add another one onto the other side if you want you can actually go a little bit there you can actually take this piece and go straight down there but you're going to end up with a very small middle mm. so it depends what you're going to pop on there um, i'm actually going to use and we'll come to it in a second but we're going to pop some decorative cardstock onto the top with our pattern paper so i've got that little bit that i attached to the end but these bits will become more apparent in a second okay, okay. so let us just have two minute breather yeah but what we're going to do is we're, and I, when i say two minute breather we are because we've got all those mats and layers to do and there's a fair few and i think we'll do that in a nice big chunk yep. if we can uh, just so that everybody can catch up with that bit um with the um, straight edge and the rounded edge and you can attach that all on in a second fantastic i just dropped those on the floor i did um, wonder what you were doing <laughs> Sometimes I just think, well, I'll just have a little sit down under here. It's quite exciting under here. There's all sorts of things, cushions, pillows. It's not really, it's just a shelf full of stuff. Um, Gareth, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah? I've just uh, managed oh, to get that bit done. Lovely. Yay. Excellent. So I'll be sticking that down. Yeah. Have you Would you say I should use the um, multi-purpose glue to stick that down with Debs? Uh, you can do, yeah, or um, some red liner tape again. Um, when you're popping it on, just make sure you've got your decorative pattern showing. And then when you, if you just want to trim it down, you could take your little corner edge again and just pop your corner edge on just to soften that little edge. So again, you could go in and do that or just trim it down once you've attached it on. Or just keep yep. it nice and square. It looks nice either way. Um, but it's a, it's a lovely little panel just to stick on there and gives a little bit of an added interest to the front of your uh, front of your album but yeah wet, wet glue red liner tape um your tape pen any any glue of your choice brilliant i've got that all stuck down then fabulous excellent i'm glad that you're keeping up it's um i think loads of people have been saying they're definitely going to be selling and um, saving this because they want to make them um pe some people were saying um they were going to make this for a friend who's expecting the baby that's karen um laurie says i'm definitely going to make this and use parts of it in my scrapbooks i think it's really an inspiring demo lo liking that um, another thing that you may like to buy are these fabulous baroque border dies now these were launched yesterday uh, they have been incredibly popular very very busy i'm surprised we've got any left to be honest these are absolutely beautiful so you've got two different dies in here one to cut the um the edge and one to cut the intricate um, design on there this is your chambord then this one is your talence talence my accent's terrible. Someone's going to go, my God, Becky, what are you saying? This one's Dijon. Everyone can say that. And this one is Lyon. Um, so £24.99 or $29.99 for all four of those. These have been incredibly popular. Do take full advantage of these. And um, if you've seen this for the first time, have a look back to the earlier show and have a look at yesterday's shows. Um, you saw all of those different designs that you can make with these. Um, also remember to have a look at the website. Our April showers and promotion is on there. There are lots of great deals on there. Lots of things like um, your red liner tape or your... Um, half card or black card um, guillotines on there or half price um, there were definitely some bits and pieces you would like to see on there and we've also got our phoebe free <laughs> phoebe <laughs> freebie frenzy mm. promotion where we've got lots of things where you're, you're getting something for free basically um color bend pencils buy one get one free not and not two the same two different sets so do have a look at those. We've got some stonkingly good deals. All of these deals will finish um, at midnight on Sunday night. Um, the other thing we have is your Country Lane collection, which you can see just in front of me here. You can see the wealth of different items you're going to be getting in here. Lots of different dyes, um, lots of different embossing holders. Really, really good for you to have. 75% saving on here. It's got so many different options in here. I particularly like those sort of um, border dies that you've got. But if I show you the board, you can see a little bit better. This one is your garden gateway. So this is your stamp and die set that you've got here. Then we have got your gateway to the country. This is a cut and emboss folder. This one, I'm going to get round the right way. This is from dusk till dawn. So these are those little sort of street lamps. Actually quite good if you're gonna be using these for um, Christmas collections. If you're gonna be using that Twas the Night Before Christmas, that would work. Then you've got your Light Up the Lane. My personal favorite is your Perennials in Pots. I think this is cool. I'm gonna go and get, I'm gonna go over and get some glue in a minute. While you're crafting, I'm gonna go and get some glue. Um, this is your Cottage Window. 
Then we've got hanging signs, this is the vines. We have got your lace frame here. Then we have your perfect peony, great to use with your flower forming foam, but with your vellum as well as your pattern paper. And do you can make it with tissue paper as well? Mm, why not? Country lane, um, oh, sorry, country lace rather. Uh, this one is your swirled butterflies. And then we have a little piece of lace here. Price is £29.96, $28.80. Platinum price is £23.97 for all of that. Um, $23 and four pence. We have got some amazing deals for you, so do keep tuned. Um, I, we're going to go back to Debbie, and I'm going to go and get some glue because that one is really annoying. Is it annoying? Yeah. I could tell. Yeah. I could tell. I'm coming it was. over. I thought, I'm coming I thought over. It's starting yeah. to annoy you. Really <laughs> getting on my nerves. Um, I'm just choosing papers. Uh, this is now your personal choice. Your choice uh, in terms of your colour scheme, um, if, especially if you're going for babies. You like if you know what you're having, like blue or baby pink or yeah, lemons. If you want to keep it neutral, mints, those kind of colours. But we're going to create all the mats and layers because right now you have a finished album. It's all done. There's nothing else to add to it. It's that easy to put an album together. And like I said, you could take it to an all new creative level by adding, when you come to this side, you could add more panels in there. You could add more like a little mini album. Do you know, like we did with this one, you could do it on this side as well. Um, you could actually put little pockets in there. You could then attach another smaller opening up. It, it can go on and on and on because there's so much potential with this. Uh, but it's a nice, simple portfolio. Portfolio, I'm doing it again. What on earth is wrong with me? Um, we're going to do the mats and the layers and we're going to create on all of those. Now, there is a lot of mats and layers with this, so we're going to go through as many as we possibly can and I'm going to give you all the measurements. Where we'll start is we'll start with the bigger pieces. So when you think about the bigger pieces, you've got a big inside and you've got a big inside and outside flap. So those three pieces... If you want to decorate the back, you absolutely can. Right now, we're going to just concentrate on the inner parts of this. So, with that in mind, although Debbie says that, and I think I did decorate the back. <laughs> four, not three, because I was going to say do three, because you can keep that white, but if you want to make it look like this, yeah. do your four. Five. Make it look nice. Make it look really high end yeah. if you want to do this. Now, you're going to use a, a matte piece first. Now, this is when I said I put the pastels of the uh, luxury cardstock. Now, I've taken out um, some of that gorgeous pearlescence. There's beautiful uh, linen card in there as well. I've chosen three kind of colour themes. I'm sticking with the lilac for these, so I've chosen the plaid. Have fun. Have That's fun. lovely, yeah. Yeah, you have fun with this bit. This is down to you and your personal choice. But I am going to give you the measurements. So first things first, we want four big panels. And the four big panels are going to measure at five and three quarter inches by eight and a quarter. So five and three quarters. Eight and a quarter. And you want that times four. If you're doing your back, if you're leaving your back open, you're going to do three, okay? So let's go in again and do that one again. So we're going at the five and three quarter mark. And the eight and a quarter. Now you will need quite a bit of your solid colour and you're also going to need quite a bit of your patterned colour. So when you are creating albums, you will need to bear that in mind uh, with your uh, chosen colours because there is quite a lot of uh, big solid pieces. Of course, you, do, you can gut them out mm -hmm. and you could save some for your smaller pieces. Um, but I want a nice solid. So I'm going to stick with what I've got. And I'm going to stick with the sizes that I've got. And I'm going to come in at four of these pieces that measure the same. So that's four pieces that measure at five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. So the main four are going to be for the inside flap, the inside and outside of the, in, uh, of the next flap. <laughs> I can't think of a better word. And for the back piece. And for the back piece as well. Okay. And this is when we'll, we'll come to these in a minute when we start doing with the punching. Yeah. But we're just going to put those to one side. Okay. For the inside mats and layers, and especially if you're using decorative and decorative, you need to come down. And I'll just explain for a second. This is quite a big pattern. If you go in, do you know when I talk about uh, a quarter of an inch? That's my normal preference when I'm doing um, mats and layers. Mm -hmm. With that in mind, Think about what pl what punches you're going to be using. Okay. If you're just rounding off the corner, you can take it down a quarter of an inch. 
but if you're doing two decorative panels on top of each other so the mats and the layers mm -hmm. if you're doing two decorative you need to think about the sizing so right. if you're gonna and I'll show you what I mean by that because I'll do it for you so you can see if you're just using the rounded corner tool your next sizes for your pattern paper would be would be five and a half by eight right however I'm going to do decorative on decorative so I'm going to take it down an extra bit. So I'm going to come down to five and a quarter mm -hmm. by seven and three quarters. Right. This is your choice. This is your craft along. It's your project. You're going to decide what you're going to use. I'm going to do a bit of double on double. Okay. Bit of double on double, shall we? Why not? <laughs> um, and choose your, choose your cardstock. Choose, choose wisely which one you want on your outside and your inside. So I'm going to go with this pattern. Um, and you can have a little play around with it as well. It doesn't necessarily have to go in, in flow. Yeah. Um, so, for example, those two ones, I've chosen a contrasting one. Yep. Those two ones, I've chosen a contrasting one. So it's up to you. Have a play. Have a mess around. Have a, but I'll give you the measurements so that you've got them. So you've got your main four, and then we're going to get the decorative elements. So I'm going to have that little play around. I'm going to have four different types. And I'm going to go down, like I said, I'm taking half an inch off, not a quarter this time. So I'm going to come in at five and a quarter and seven and three quarters there we go so that's me in fact actually i'll do two i'll do two of those i'll get two of them so five and a quarter by seven and three quarters like i said if if you are just going to use that as the rounded and then this is the decorative or if you're going to do the decorative and then the rounded you can go to your quarter of an inch mark uh, but I'm, I'm going to do decorative on both so i've got two pieces there already i'll choose another contrasting color we'll come in with this one aren't these plaid paper pads divine absolutely divine and i'm telling you now don't throw a single bit of it away i have got a box full of plaid off cuts really um, because i absolutely love and adore these pads they are incredible pads uh, i love the design of them they're just I love the colours, whether you've gone for blush, and I believe Gaz has gone for blush, mm. um, which I'm really, really looking forward to seeing because, um, hello, <laughs> I think it's going to look fabulous. I'm just going to see if I can get, no, you need to get that one. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, his in the blush. I'm also hoping and praying that when you've made your albums with whatever chosen papers that you're using, you share, tag, I want to see them because I can't wait to see them um, because honestly you're going to love this you're going to adapt this in so many different ways um, I'm going to use the love heart punch and I love the love heart punch now this particular cardstock I believe is it 250 producer Lily is it 240 I can't remember let me have a look because it's on the pads let's have a look oh it's a 250 yeah 250 so um beautiful beautiful design and again your punches oh, they all work the same way you take it into the very corner so make sure you can't see a gap either side and that it's fully into that corner if you haven't you'll end up with a, a bit of a mess mm. um so for me i mean look at that that's so pretty They're so gorgeous i, I absolutely I love them punches you want my lovely i wish i had these punches they are honestly they are absolutely divine and i'm just going to show you because you can pop it onto your craft desk and you can go down and punch that way as well i am going to be totally truthful with you i prefer it in my hand it's just the way it, it depends on um this hand because this is the hand that suffers with carpal tunnel today is good i've got a good day um so i'm okay um, but there will be days where i can't mm. and i'll tell you something else don't throw them away they are little love hearts they are gorgeous and you'll hear because you've got your little area where you can pull it out you can release them mm. and then you've got a ton of shaker card elements beautiful beautiful so again just coming in and i'm just going to punch all of those around mary reno says my niece is getting married next friday evening this would be a perfect to give her as a very fancy card it would be lovely yes absolutely because i bought it an those... album but it could be yeah do you know what it could be it could be a story of their relationship mm. when they first met um and then all the pictures of the special i mean do you know what i'd be doing i'd be stalking the facebook page because that's where you put all the pictures into it go on the facebook well, like, pages like you did, early, the like you did yesterday like i did with yours <laughs> 
realised that me and Becky hadn't had a photo together. No, I know. And I'm like, what the heck's going on? I know. I've got, to, I've got to rectify that mistake. Very bad. I know. So we took one today, haven't we? We did. We and did. so now I've got one, but I hadn't had a chance to go to... Um, to well no it's tr it was traumatic i'm never doing it again that tesco photo booth <laughs> i was ready for killing it yesterday i must have spent an hour there uh, I, I must have spent an hour spent a fortune <laughs> cost me six wait wait it, it was six pound fifty first one and then i realized i'd got i'd gone I'd, it didn't look right with me and jan so i had to do another one and that cost me another 60p i was beside myself <laughs> then he won't give me a receipt and i was ready for kicking it through window i was like just you know i don't get I don't get abusive with things, but that thing drove me absolutely <laughs> mad and stopped me from getting my nails done. So I wasn't, I wasn't best pleased. I wasn't best pleased. You're trying to squeeze things in in between shows and then that all goes horribly wrong. I know, and yeah. I thought I'd got loads of time, Becky, because normally yeah. I have loads of time to do that because Sarah did the launch and I thought, great, have my dinner, add a natter with our Craig. Um, add a little look at upcoming projects, upcoming things that are coming out. Yeah. Got so excited. Um, I am going to say it now, yeah. Talked about that Gemini too. Good yeah. God, we are so excited. Me, Lily and Craig, you ought to have seen us. We were like kids at Christmas what, looking at it. And uh, Craig, he's borrowed one. So he's, he's actually using it. He's got he's to bring it back. <laughs> I saw one in here yeah, this morning. Yeah, that's the one. Wow. I was hoping to get get a little play with that in between shows. It's been, yeah, it's like a security guard wandering around with it. <laughs> now, what you're going to do is now you're going to sit them on and stick them down with glue, and it just gives. And, and do you know what? For that wedding album, I think that love heart one. Yeah. It's that little detail. So choose your chosen glue, stick them down. Oh, Teppy, have you closed it up? Oh no, it's that warm and it's dried up. Oh, what we like. Terrible with glue. I do it all the time. <laughs> uh, but we're going to come in. So this is going to be the main first part. I promise you, we've still got a good half hour to go. I promise you, we'll get all the measurements in for the rest of the mats and layers. I'm not going to leave you uh, hanging dry. The only thing you've got to decide on is what you're going to put in there. We're not concentrating today on what you're putting in there. We're concentrating on the folio, the the punches, getting the decorative pieces in and getting a nice finished project for you then to decide what am I going to put, oh am I going to focus in there, am I going to leave it plain, am I going to add some paper, uh, what paper are you going to use, what theme are you going to use, mm. who are you going to give it to, oh Lily, 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 that paper for next week. Oh, I might, um, do you know what, I might have to make one tomorrow and take it down to Hobby Maker with me because I've got oh, it yeah. on Monday. It's a good idea. Actually, why am I sticking these down, Lily? <laughs> I should have used that. No, I can't, can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I get into trouble. <laughs> Be a bit naughty, wouldn't it? But I've got my four panels. I'm just going to bring this back in so I'll show you where they go. Middle. And yep. it sits in there lovely. OK, so we'll come into there. OK. And I'm going to pop that into there. Now, do you know I talked about that join and those joins? Yeah. Can you see them now? Yeah, totally. No, you can't see them. Now, I did say I would talk about the magnets, and I will talk about those magnets in a second before we start sticking everything down, because for those people that want to put a magnet in there, I'll show you how to do those bits mm -hmm. in a second. But you're going to put one on here. You're going to put um, contrasting one on this panel. So if I turn that there, nice. And it's nice to have a contrast. I think It's so. nice, yeah. And you'll see that that fits into there beautifully. So we'll come in with that one. Okay, um, so pop that down. Rosalind said these plaid paper pads, bloop, 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 reminds me of the original Winter's Tail paper pad that was red and brown pads oh. with some of the same pattern. Yes, yes, absolutely. Spot on. Maybe, the, well, they, I, I hope they do them in more colours. I know, yeah. With glitter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I like pink and, pink and black plaid with a, like a glitter, mm. with a, like a fuchsia pink. That'd be quite nice. Oh, that sounds nice as well. So I'm yeah. just going to pop that one onto there. So you'll see where you can stick them now. So you'll see that they go and fit in beautifully. So you can start to see. So these are the largest ones. And then this last one goes on the back. So it covers up that back. So you're going to pop that onto the back part. So that is that part. And we'll do it. In, we'll break it down into segments for you. Um, I'll tell you what, Becky. Yep. We can have a little break now, yep. so just for a second, but you've seen where those now start to sit. I'll talk about the magnets, because the magnets are going to sit um, into here and here, and I'll mm -hmm. talk about those in a second, but we'll, cut out, we'll, we'll get all the measurements for the rest of this to go, okay? Okay. 
Yeah. We have had a few uh, messages come through, but obviously as we've been moving forward, um, perhaps you know we've, you've managed to catch up. But Diane asked for the to repeat the size of the last flap as her TV switched off. But Different. I think that. I think it's the last flap um, on the front. On the front. On the front, yes. So I did a four by six panel. Yep. So it was a four by six, four by six panel, and then I just cut a strip of paper and I've attached uh, paper cardstock and attached it to it once I punched it. So, right. but again, you're not going to see that because that's going to sit over the front here. It's going to be what connects the two together. Okay. Okay. So it's four by six. A strip, I think we measured it about two and a half, didn't we, yeah. by six, and just put that decorative panel. So that's that panel. If it's this one, this is seven by four and a quarter with an inch a hinge tab. Okay. okay. Yeah. And hope Be that helps. Betsy said, how do you attach the two, two and a half by six piece to the four by six piece? This. Is it that bit? Yeah, it's just glue. Just a bit of glue. Yeah, just a bit of glue. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, you could make it bigger and then put the punch in, but I find it easier just to have the strip on. And like I said, you're not going to even notice those join lines when we're finished. Yeah. It just looks really nice. So, yeah, so just attach it with some yeah. glue. That's okay. all I did. I popped it on with a bit of... Uh, I actually used tape pen, our okay. stronger DC tape pen for that one. Yeah. Great. Tracy says, my plaid paper pads arrived today. I'll definitely be saving this craft along to doing later. My husband's on nights tonight, so that's what I'll be doing this evening. Mm. And Stephanie says, watching on my laptop and trying to catch up on the Kindle. Multitasking, but I love Debbie. Aww. And Laurie says, it's an edgeable in a punch. It really yes, it is, is when you start using it that way. Lots of people loving it. Lots of people saying they're going to save it um, because they want all the measurements um, later on so they can I pr craft I promise, it yep. I promise you, I know we've got the show and I said you can watch it back on catch up and things yep. like that, but I'm at home tomorrow. I've only got a day at home tomorrow. I've got a bit of prep to do for Hobby Maker, but um, I promise you. And do you know if I haven't posted it by midweek next week, I'm hoping to get it on tomorrow. Chase me. Do you remember Who that? Chase, that Duncan, chase me, chase, chase me. me. You said that, didn't you? You did. Uh, chase me. Send me some DMs. Just let me know, and I will. I promise you, I will pop it, pop it on there because um, it's it is a lovely project. It is absolutely. Yeah. And these are really good. These little expression dies. These would be really good for putting in that portfolio, portfolio, folio, album, whatever you're going to be using it for. These are quite wee, um, but very very cute. So this first one is with love. Then we've got anniversary. Then we've got special friend. We have then got you're invited. We've got good luck. We have a new home. And then finally, we have with sympathy. Um, so always useful, all of these things. So this is a £10.76 platinum price for all of those. Uh, that's $15.56. Once again, we're giving you some great deals today. Um, these are really worthwhile, aren't they? They're lovely little dies. Very useful. Um, do remember, you've also got the April showers um, promotion, which is going on at the moment. We've got loads of special deals on there. Um, do have a look at that. And we've also got your freebie frenzy. I have to close my eyes while I concentrate. Um, again, lots of deals there where we're giving you one thing, we're paying for one thing, you're getting something else for free. Um, so lots and lots of deals. Lots sold out yesterday because it was very popular because the deals are so good. So if you do see something you like, do take advantage of it because we will be continuing that promotion until um, midnight tomorrow night as well. Um, Debbie, are you ready for us to go back to you? Yeah, so I'm going to talk about the measurements, but I'm just going to quickly cover the magnets yep. uh, section because um, an album always looks nice when you can enclose it with a magnet. Now, I appreciate not everybody can get hold of magnets. We used to sell them. I don't know if we've got any more now. I, I mean, w I, they look like this. So you may have had them when we sold our mini albums. Um, if we haven't got them in stock, don't worry because there are other craft places out there. Have we got them? Oh, oh. Thank God for that, because I'm going to order some more, because I love these. Um, so we will pop on, so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about them, because literally, type in craft magnets, it'll take you to the website. I love these. Uh, 2 99 for 16 wow. is what they're at. Mine is your club discount. But I'm going to show you how to put them in before you start putting your panels down. So I want to make sure that this flap folds into it, so it's got a, a nice enclosure. Now, I would use finger lift tape for this, but we do, I, you know, I thought we'd have some finger lift tape in here. And guess what? Producer Lily, we haven't got no finger lift tape. I'm like, I'm so shocked. Um, and I just prefer that one, but I, yeah, do you know what? It'll be that, it'll be that craggy. It'll be that craggy. It's what? Well, God, I nearly dropped me. Did you see me <laughs> drop a thing then? I was like, what did you just say? 
four rolls for £8.49. That's amazing. That is crazy. Uh, now, I would normally, at this stage, use um, finger lift because it's going to be hidden. It just, and all it is is just to secure your magnet down. Um, because what you need to do is, <laughs> remember, because Debbie tried it again, and remember, magnets have opposite attractions, don't they? So yeah. you've got to make sure that you've got it in the right place. So pop it on top of it. Right. If I just show, pop it on the top. So I've sealed it down, but I'm popping it in the right place. But what I want to do is create the, because if you remember now, that's got to stick up to here because it's going to go up here. Mm -hmm. So the way to do it is, and that's why I use finger lift it because it's a bit easier. Um, because if I pop that over the top, when I take it up to there, yeah. it's the glue the other way around. Yeah. So I know that I'm going to pop it on. So slide it off and stick it down. Take a little bit of tape. Now, Velcro dots, personally myself, and I will just be totally honest with you, I don't use Velcro dots in an album. They are um, visible. Mm -hmm. um, little trickier to, to hide, in, yeah. so to speak. So now, when I put that on, you've now got, and if I just bung that there, sorry, Charlotte, because it's out of shot again, um, that's the sticky bit. So now I know that when I take this up to the top, I've actually married it up to the right place, and I know that when I stick that down and remove it, let me just make sure I've got that the right place, and I'll, before I do it, I'm just going to make sure it's not shifted off there, is, again, just stick that down. Get your finger underneath, That's and you know the magnet's hint. in the right place. Yeah. And that means now it's not moving anywhere. Perfect. It's the easiest way to do it. So finger lift tape would work. Keep them in place. And that's the same for this one. So when you think about where you're going to stick this and hold that down, if I just do it for a second just to show you what I mean, let me just make sure I can see it on the top. It's exactly the same way. So we're going to pop a little enclosure onto there. So, and again, I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> you stay down there, you young man. <laughs> um, we're going to pop that on and I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to place it where I pop the magnets. And I'm, when, you, when you're popping them on, just make sure you don't go right up to the very edge. Yeah. Because if you pop it over to the very edge, it can become a little tad tricky. And again, the same thing with your magnet. Make sure it's sitting on the top first so you know it's in the right place. Because if you try it the other way, it won't sit on. And that's the bit then, the underneath bit to it is the bit that you then need to uh, slide it in. So I know if I take that off and pop it onto there, pop it back on. And then I can attach now, so when I go in again, I can attach it down, keep a little flick underneath, so I know that when I separate the magnet, it's in the right place. Mm -hmm. So it holds it down. So it's just those little ticks. And don't worry about those, because they are going to be covered up with your mats and layers. Yep. But I'm conscious of the time, and I'm conscious we need to get on with the rest of the mats yep. and the layers. So we're going to concentrate on those if we may. Because we've got this inner panel, these panels to cover, and all of the rest. So I'm going to start and concentrate on this bit first. So take your chosen solid cardstock again. I'm going to move my magnets out of the way. Uh, I'm going to switch to a bit of a darker textured cardstock now, but it's, you know, it's still from the pastel range. You can still use that, but we're going to give you the measurements. So again, what we're looking at is um, eight and a quarter. Uh, because of the width of the um, album mm -hmm. and remember the eight album is eight and a half so I'm coming down that quarter of an inch so uh, but before I go in I'm not going to waste all my cardstock I'm going to do the the smaller piece so I'm going to come in at five and a half so five and a half by eight and a quarter and that's going to sit in the center of that piece okay yep. and then these two pieces and if i remember rightly because i'm just going to double check with my because <laughs> i know what i'm like when i write things down i'm not like jan or everybody else who types it all out look at mine are you like me <laughs> I, I thank god it's not just me because i always look at myself and thinking hey, i've done that right but yeah you have debbie you have uh, because i haven't got time to type <laughs> just haven't got time to type uh, but these are four inches so if you look at it and you fall in your album it's four inches still by your um, eight and a quarter mm -hmm. so I'm going to come back in again and I'm going to take this to four inches I might just come under just slightly underneath um, eight and a quarter and then again another piece that would match because it's going to be that inside so four by eight and a quarter if I just bring this back up just for a second, they're going to sit in the inside. Now, if it's a little bit over, 
just snip off a little edge um, and I've just seen that that one is a tad under so I'm going to take it to actually I'm just going to take it just under the floor it's going just underneath the floor again but you'll you'll know if it if it fits you'll know if it's a bit hanging over the edge because what you want to do is create a nice frame from your edge to your top to your bottom and then again um cho choosing what is it you're going to do a rounded or again are you going to choose and i think i chose the love of hearts again let's go with the love hearts again why not we'll have a nice love memory one because this would be for all of your uh, family and friends and of course the love look at all that gorgeous love hearts can you see it sprinkling out yeah definitely bag that up um but yeah just give these a little punch through there and obviously the lighter the cardstock the easier it goes through oh oh no becky look i didn't have it pushed in uh oh so i'm not going to continue that i'm going to make myself another one but that's the importance of having it right in to the corner so that doesn't happen right because you don't want that to happen so i'm going to i'll cut myself another one but uh, i'm going to come in and i'm going to just continue and then i'll get after it again <laughs> Debbie, to bashing, get your, what it is. I, I think it is. Yeah. Do you know what it is? I've seen the time and I'm thinking, oh my good grief. Hey, do you know what I could do? That could be my inside panel. That could be the, uh, yeah, I could go down to the air. Oh, I didn't waste any of that, did I? There we go. That's better. How important is it to get into that corner? Because that little bit of the fraction of the movement is the difference between... A mess <laughs> and a nice clean part <laughs> so i'll just do my in the inner inner part again just for a second okay. um how's gaz doing with he's been very quiet is he getting yeah. on okay oh good is he beavering away is he is it have we had a thumbs up from him yeah is he working hard am i working you hard oh you're absolutely terrible <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a sweat on doing crafting before. I don't even need to go to the gym anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Have you enjoyed it? Are you enjoying it? I am absolutely loving it. Thank you so, so much. Like, really, honestly, I mean, you know, so far I've managed to get that Oh, it's done. lovely. Oh, that look at that. I love the colours. I love that the colours. Are you making done. it for someone in mind? Um... I haven't really thought about who I'm going to give it to yet, but I'm I'm uh, I'm thinking about it at the moment. I think I've got a few people in mind. Ah, oh, do you make to sell your with your uh, craft gas? No, I make it because um, the, well, the job that I do is actually quite a high stress job. So this is my um, escape and being able to calm down and just do my own thing. Mm -hmm. So I make for myself. I make for friends. I make for family. Oh, oh yeah, that's then that's it, isn't it? It's about having that little bit of mindful uh, time crafted, isn't it? Um, otherwise right, I'd go so, <laughs> so what we've done is we've created our panels that are going to go in there. If you think about it, though, do you know when we talked about these being the um, just under four by the eight and a quarter? If you're thinking when you're coming into these, it's exactly the same. So you want two more. So when you're making these panels, you're going to create double so you want four of those because you're putting one on the inside and one on the outside and the same with this one you're going one on this side and one on this side so you need to create the double okay. so again but this is when you can start to mix around with your colors becky yeah. so i'm going to repeat those measurements for you and i'm going to choose it into a um different color of the purple so look at all them confetti bits eh um, I'm going to come into the five and a half mark by the eight and a quarter. And the other two panels, again, I'm going to have at the just under four for mine, um, two, eight and a quarter. And that's going to sit on the outside of that um, left hand, shall we call it the, what it is, the left hand side yeah. of the folio um, or the album. I'm going to bring in a bit of a scrap now, though, because I've seen that... Uh, <laughs> Someone's been using this one. <laughs> uh, and again, and I'll just show you for a second. And this is when you'll start to realise, in terms of your colours, the kind of things that you need. Now, 
I'm just going to just pop these in so I can stick these down. We'll talk about those inside mats again because it'll depend on what style you're going with okay. uh, to the size. But a bit of glue, because I've got a magnet here, I've got a bit of red line of tape, so it's no point putting glue over. You might as well make the most of it. Yeah. So take off your, it could be a finger lift tape. Um, I'm going to take that off and I'm going to sit that one over the top. And there you go. That sits into colours. that panel. And then this one's going to sit into this panel. So we're going to come in and we're going to sit this into this panel. And it's all about now the decoration. Oh, Debbie, I think I might have gone a bit too big there. Oh, you think? I think you might have, girl. What are you like? Uh, do you know what? I'm going to snip that down in a second. I'll come back to that in a minute. And then the si is this my eyes going wrong? Oh, it's not. You're right, Charlotte. It's me flap. I was, I was panicking thinking it was me, um, I was panicking thinking it was me, f uh, me, um, <laughs> God, what did I just say? Oh, dear Lord. I was, I was thinking it was my spine. Do you know the spine of the album? And I was panicking thinking, oh, I've given you wrong measurements. I haven't. I haven't. It was the tab, the flap that attached them to. Silly old me. Look, we've got another magnet. So we're going to lift off the tape. I would, honestly, I definitely would be using finger lift. It's uh, it's a fabulous one, but honestly, four p a meter apparently on the website. How much? Four p a meter. That's you are crazy. kidding that's, that's me. That's just like general price. So even less if you're platinum. Wow. Wow. wow I like wow, a bit wow. of finger lift tape. You love finger lift. Mm. Yeah. It is a. It's it, a fab it is. It's fabulous. I think it's good for wrapping presents. Yes. Yeah. You know, you, oh God, God, Becky, why is this Eve? You're there that? with your tape, fiddling around with it. I think a little tape's better. For yeah. Presents. Yeah. Yeah. I've um, Craig's like that, isn't he? Doesn't like to see the tape. He likes it to be um, neat. Mm. Uh, my cousin's like that as well. He he prefers neatness, so he chooses uh, tapes to stick his parcels down with mm. um, because he um, doesn't like that unsightly look of tape. No, I don't either. I mean, me, I'm not really bothered, to be fair, because you're, you're ripping straight in. Again, me and Lily were like kindred spirits. Um, <laughs> just think, oh, no, I'm not faffing around. We're all pretty. Uh, you're ripping it off in two, and I never bother with kids. Do you know what grandkid is? Oh, no, it'd be a waste of time. They don't even look at it. They don't even look at tag. I mean, I made them beautiful tags. One, one, I, I, what, did I bother with that for? No. They didn't even look at them. They didn't even look at them. I, I tend to make my tags out. I'm, I've made them out of wood. I've made them out of clay. Um, and most people just bin them. Yeah, and just no. think, and yeah. I spent hours making those. It's quite soul destroying, really. Yeah, and it is, isn't it, when you think... I, mean, uh, I use luggage tags now. Yeah. Uh, now, the outside of my folio, I'm actually going to put a little magnet there. So you're just going to repeat, really, that process. Um, one on this tab. Oops. <laughs> They're loving jumping around, aren't they, today? They're loving jumping around. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I'm going to personally put one on there, and that's just to hold the whole album together. Um, so it's exactly the same process that I told you about in terms of not going too close to the edge, mm -hmm. dropping a bit of tape down, matching your magnet up so you haven't got the negative part to it. So if I just pop that on for a second, um, and then sticking it on the underside of it, and then when you snip your piece together, so if I just pop that now onto the top, oh, don't you dare start playing me up now. <laughs> Not at this time of night. <laughs> so popping that back on, you then can see when you attach. And when you, when you do this little bit, just bring it up a little bit because what you don't want to do is go too far over. You want to get it about right. So hold it with your hand and kind of square it off. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Yep. So when you've squared it off and you're happy with where that is, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that by eye, I think, with this one, because I know it's gonna be a bit tricky otherwise. Let me just make sure I've got that right. That's why I use finger lift tape. Red liner tape is absolutely fabulous, but it is so strong. It sticks to you as well as everything else. And that's why I prefer red liner, uh, not red liner tape for this bit, but the, um, the finger lift tape. And there, it just uh, holds that down. Yeah, perfect. And that's honestly the best way. And so because I've got that on there and I know it's a bit messy but it don't matter because guess what we're covering it up really really doesn't matter um, all I'm going to do with that other panel that we've done is pop on there the edges like so and that now is 
that part done and again with your panels what we're going to do is we're going to take them down a quarter of an edge but what i'm conscious of is and i i, I say a quarter i take half an inch off with these because mm -hmm. i'm going to do again another piece with this you can right. choose your own you can mix and match with your punch. If you've got the whole set, you can use them all. Or you can keep it one. You can have it in that one direction of terms of just the one style. So if you are doing that, remember that this panel was a four by eight and a quarter. So you come down to seven and three quarters by three and a half because right. you're taking off half an inch. So again, in terms of your pattern papers, have a little play with your colour schemes. Have a little play around. So I said three and a half seven and three quarters and we want those and i'm going to do two of this one and two in a different color because i like i do like that contrasting color mm. between the two flaps so again seven and three quarters by um seven and three quarters sorry by three and a half and i'll choose i'm going to stick with the same kind of color theme with this one i didn't with my other one i chose lots of different colors but it's all about having a play around with all of those, you know, all of those colour choices that you might have in your collection. And like I said, you want four of those and then you want two of the larger ones. So again, shall we have, shall we have a mix up again? Let's go in and have a little mix up. I'm going to bring in a different one. I love I'm going the to bring fact in this that you can one. just use all, all of those paper Oh, yeah, honestly, got. yeah. No, I think everyone's got ones that they've kept and, you know, are you ever going to use yeah. them? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a good opportunity to you know, use a whole sort of collection, really. Isn't yeah. It? Now I'm just going to just open it up again, just for you to show you when we talk about this one. Remember the size that you had, so you're going to come down half an inch if you're using a, a pattern. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are, remember the size. And Debbie's lost a little measurements now, so we're not going to panic. But I'm going to come down to. I took that to five and a half, didn't I? If I remember rightly. So we'll come down half an inch. We'll go to five by the seven and three quarters, and you want that times two. So go to five. We're going to go to seven and three quarters and the same. And I'll actually, because it's on the inside, I'm going to keep to the same with this one. So five, seven and three quarters. And we've got those panels now. Now, these bits I want you to take your time with. So one's going to sit there when you've done your punch. One's going to sit there and the two inner ones are going to sit on each side. So you can see it's starting to form and come together. Because of the time, we're going to pause there because you're going to do that bit and then stick them all down. Because what I want to do is give you all the measurements for these. OK, and this and this and this. All right, so that's what we're going to do um, there, if that's okay. okay, and just concentrate on those. Those bits we can stick down. Gaz, don't worry too much. Anybody else watching, don't worry too much. Just put them to one side. You've already cut them down to size. You can do the punching, and you can actually put that in there so you know to come back to that in a minute. Because what I want to do is do these panels. So, thinking about, and you will duplicate these twice for this one, twice for this one, twice for this size. Um, and the same with your patterned papers. So with your solid colour, remembering that this started life as eight mm -hmm. by your uh, under six we did, didn't we? Yep. When you're thinking about your mat and your layer, your main one, you can come down a quarter of an inch if you want to. So we're going to come down with this one to about, um, and if it is six, you're going to come down to five and three quarters. But remember, that's not a full eight because we had the tab. So it's seven and a half. So you're going to come down. And again, if you're unsure, get your rulers out. Yeah. Have a little look with your rulers so we know. And you can then be rest assured that you're going to be accurate with your measurements every single time. So I'm just going to quickly cut that first one. What did I say, Becky? That's me talking now and not concentrating. Oh, yeah, we'll do five. Because I did, yeah, five and a half by about seven and a quarter. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'm going to come to a solid one. Ooh, I've run out of me. Uh, I've run out of me colour. So I'm going to have to come in here and find another. Um, oh, that'll do. We'll have that one. Again, all about choosing your shades that match your paper um, in terms of your um, colour choice. Uh, I said, did I say five and a half, Becky? Look at me, I'm, I'm doing it again. Five and a half by seven and a quarter, I think Thank you said. Thank you very much. Well, we'll have a look. We'll have a look, because it might, yeah. 
Did I say seven and a quarter? I thought you did. Yes, because it was no, eight. No, that's I'm a half an inch off. No, you're right, Becky. <laughs> you were right. We'll do that twice. So that's a seven and a half twice by five and a half. And we'll soon know because when we, when we have a look at it, we'll know if it fits. Oh, Becky, thank you so much. You were so good at remembering that. Actually, I'm going to trim a little bit just off the bottom. I'm going to come to seven and a quarter. So we'll come to seven and a quarter. Oh, do you know why? I've done that one right. <laughs> I did that one wrong. What a silly Billy. Oh. So that now will sit onto there and also on the underside. And again, make sure you either round or punch, but you've got your two pieces. And then, of course, with your pattern paper, mm -hmm. um, because it measures in at five and a half, you're going to come down, remembering which punch you're going to use will come down half an inch. Mm -hmm. So that'll come down to five. That will come down to uh, six and three quarters yep. with your patterned paper. So again, you can be choosing. I'll go with a nice two striking ones there. See if we can get that under two. Yeah, we can. So I said by five. Oh, as if by magic, they're already five. <laughs> Woohoo! So, um, <laughs> so if you come down uh, half an inch, it takes it to the six and three quarters, and they will sit perfectly in there. And you've got two of those. So you've got one and two okay so two of those pieces are for that one and then the same with this one you're going to create two pieces um and that's exactly the same way are we able to just give you the measurements if we haven't yeah so let's do that because obviously you've got all of those we can stick all those down once you've done again just put them to one side what was that charlotte <laughs> Right, uh, we might just have to go a tad over, girls, just so I can give them the measurements because I don't want people to feel that this bit's just being rushed. Um, so this bit, again, we know the depth. We know it's the same way, so we know it's going to be the five and a half. Yep. Oh, the five and a quarter, whichever you decide. Um, but it's this one. And if, again, if you remember, it started life as seven with half an inch off, so it's six and a half, come down six and a quarter, and then five and three quarters times the two. So let's do that one again. In fact, I'm going to mix it up even more, Becky. I've got some more of this left over. Let's have a little play. Actually, no, I'll stick to that one. Come down to, um, there we go, five and a half. By, and I've cut two pieces. The lovely thing about our guillotine, as we all know, super, super strong. Um, we're going to come down that quarter of an inch. So you've got your two inside panels that will fit into there. And the same with... I've done it again, Becky. Six and a half, not six and seven and three quarters. Um, same with your pattern paper. Take uh, half an inch off with your pattern paper. Mm -hmm. And then this one, again, two pieces. And again, if you think about the size, if you're unsure, remember, get your rulers out. And you're going to take it to your... We'll go in about five with this one, I think. So five by the width remember the width whatever your width was so mine was just under six so i'll take it down that quarter of an inch and you're going to do that by times two and the same with your pattern paper when you come to these these are a little bit smaller but remembering you still need two yep. and when you're doing your two just bear in mind the size again this one now measures and it actually measures at three but we're going to come down a quarter of an inch so two and three quarters mm -hmm. and remember depth is eight and a half so we're going to come down to eight and a quarter times two for your plane patterned depending on your punch i would come down half an inch yeah so that would then be from and i will i will speed it up charlotte i promise <laughs> <laughs> and <I will, laughs> you're going down your half an inch with your pattern paper. So if you just remember your coloured cardstock first, that would be two pieces that measure in at two and three quarters by eight and a quarter, and then your two pieces of pattern cardstock, and that'll be the outside flap. If you want to leave your spine free and white, you absolutely can. But I am just going to show you what I did with mine, just so you can see. Um, that I actually put some little strips. Now, these are an inch. They're an inch by eight. And if you're eight and a half, remember, take it down a quarter. So that would be eight and a quarter and by about three quarters of an inch. And then just round them off and do that four times because you've got one there, one there. And if I turn that over, you've got two on the outside as well. 
You can mix and match your punches up. I use Fleur de Lis as well as the Love Hearts on this one. Um, and then with your patterned one, it's basically the same way. So if you remember that's a four by six, take your first coloured paper to um, three and three quarters by five and three quarters. Mm -hmm. And then your patterned paper is actually a quarter of an inch. So right. you can go down to your um, three and a half by uh, five and a half. And then do you know where we did this? With the yeah. strip, it's exactly the same. And just stick it over the top. That's all I did. And then I just added some little florals. But you can see, and once, you, once those magnets will be all covered up with your pattern paper, yeah. when it comes to your photos, choose your photos of your size. I chose four by six. So I just trimmed them down a quarter of an inch, made my white cardstock four by six, and then used the best punch of all, the photo tab, and then slipped my photos in and I haven't stuck my photos down. That's four by six. This is a slither off, so I've taken it down to three and three quarters yeah. by four, um, five and three quarters and then it slips into your album. So do you know if you want to chip and change, if you're not happy with your photo yeah. and you want to chop and change, you absolutely can because the only great. thing that I've stuck down is the actual base of that. So again, just popping that in and it fits in there beautifully and it creates the most gorgeous photos. Now I'm going to add different size photos into this. Um, by it comes to the six o'clock, I'll show you what I've completed because I'd started putting my photos in of all the fabulous friends that I I have here at Crafters TV um, but that is how you put your folio or your album together and I'm hoping that you have got all of those measurements and like I said don't worry I will post them on but I think I, I think I did I know we've gone a little bit over and I'm ever so sorry producer Lily and Charlotte I know it's eating into our, uh, our time to get ready for the next show. Uh, <laughs> but I hope I've given you all the instructions on how to put that together. The decoration part down to you. I left mine strips bare at the side because I thought it looked quite nice mm. and tied it all in. It weren't too busy then. Yeah. Uh, but I can't wait to see what you do with yours. You saw how to put it together. You saw how to do the magnets if you've got magnets. If you haven't, go get them while they're in stock. I am getting some more shopping in the show between shows. Yep. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope, Gaz, are you still there? Still here. I'm still in one piece. I'm, <laughs> I've managed to get. Um, <laughs> I've managed to get this oh, done look. so far. So I managed to get all of that sorted. That Excellent. all of that and oh, that little bit there. You've done more than me. So I've managed. I've tried. I've tried <laughs> to keep up. Have you? Have you enjoyed it? I have absolutely loved it. Thank you so, so much for having me. Aww. It's fantastic to have gotten to have crafted along with you. And Aww. it is absolutely wonderful to get to see Becky again as well. Oh, that's so lovely. Um, Thank you. We You've really enjoyed having gorgeous, you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous guest. Yeah. Yeah. Really enjoyed so thank having you, you so very much again. Thank you, honestly. Fantastic. It's, it's and, always a pleasure. And you will post up a picture of it completely finished for us to have a look. I Are certainly will. I'm going Excellent. to finish it up and then I'm going to go out and have some cocktails because I think I've earned Ooh, them. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Have one for us as well because we will just be happy. I certainly food. will. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, thank you so much. And I really hope you've enjoyed watching that craft along. Um, Debbie, we'll get those measurements out for you. Yeah. But lots and lots of people loving it. I mean, the, you have to look at the comments later because oh. we haven't got enough time. Oh. But everyone loving this and really looking forward to making it. I'm definitely going to be going over and taking a few photos um, to remind my myself about how to make that um, when I go home eventually later on this week. Um, now we do have Masterclass coming on at six o'clock and that's all going to be about the Sara Signature collections. I'm really looking forward to that because some of them I haven't seen because obviously I haven't been here that long. So it's been over a year but you know still some of them I've not actually had a chance to have a look at so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Do remember have a look online and look at the April showers promotions. We've got 50% off lots and lots of goodies and we've got our Freebie frenzy <laughs> oh, as well, where we're getting, giving you buy one, get one free deals as well. So definitely look at those. We are going to be back with you in a couple of hours time. Have a lovely break. See you soon.